Well, that one doesn't want to stay up. Hi guys. So this will be a new um, segment. It will be. It's called Psychology Bite, where I will talk to you a little bit about something like just bite-sized theories in um, in psychology, which I think is kind of um, fun, like stuff that I can just immediately share with you uh, from what I've learned. So today we're going to talk about Isaac's arousal theory of extroversion and introversion. So what is it about? Um, well, it's a subset of his bigger theory called the three-factor personality theory. There's three super traits that he outlines uh, called extroversion, neuroticism, and psychoticism. psychoticism. Um, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about will be coming from this book and stuff that I've heard from my uh, lectures. What's special about this theory is that uh, Eisen's theory links to uh, some of biological factors that leads to us being either extroverts or introverts. And it has a lot to do with what is going on inside our brains. So uh, he said things about ARAS or A-R-A-S. I call it ARAS because uh, in Malay, it's ARAS is a word. <laughs> ARAS is short for Ascending Reticular Activating System. Ascending Reticular Activating System. And it uh, is located in the brainstem, which connects to areas of the brain like thalamus, um, hypothalamus, and the cortex. So cortex is where uh, all the cognitive processes go. Uh, thalamus manages and relays nerve impulses to the brain. Hypothalamus regulates body's metabolic processes by which substances are broken down to provide energy, blah, 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 blah. So RS manages the amount of information or stimulation that the brain receives and maintains individuals waking and their sleep and keeps individuals alert and active. So what does RS have to do with extroverts and introverts? Um, RS is also like, uh, involved with like arousal system now don't think it the dirty way arousal could mean like the um, how likely you are to feel stuff to feel emotions to feel angry to feel sad to feel happy all of that so that's where Aras is um, like responsible for so what Isaac is saying is basically that introverts and Aras that's more um, uh, sensitive to arousal so they get aroused easily whereas extroverts would have RS that um, are less sensitive to arousal so uh, they would have to seek more to find more that stimulates them basically so why would an introvert's arrest be more sensitive to arousal as compared to uh, extroverts right but so the key thing is is like well let's look at what extrovert what we understand extrovert and introverts are so extroverts are normally like uh, more exciting situations social stimulations um, all of that while introverts prefer to keep things on the down low uh, where they have time to focus on themselves um, they usually find social situations a bit um, draining not that they don't enjoy them there are a lot of things that you can enjoy without um, that are also draining um, as for me personally I am an extreme introvert I'm like a, on the extreme side of the introvert scale uh, introvert extrovert scale I'm like on the extreme side so um, not that is I do enjoy social situations I just can't do them a lot because it's very very draining to me um, and I find this theory really kind of relates to um, what I'm experiencing I uh, obviously it doesn't um, it doesn't apply to everyone uh, 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 which is how it always is in uh, psychology so um, well Isaac's theory is like the uh, it's a big deal because at the time it came out it's not like it's um, it's not very usual to kind of relate to per, per, to relate trait theories, uh, personality theories to um, your own biology. So it's kind of a big deal. Some of it still hold through, um, I think, uh, uh, but it doesn't mesh very well right now to what we understand about the brain structure right now. So, anyways, back to that theory. <laughs> Introverts arise has a higher sensi sensitivity to arousal, while extroverts would have a lower sensitivity to um, arousal. So, which is which is an explanation to why they seek more uh, socially uh, more stimulations that are exciting, um, 
and well introverts would kind of avoid them and that is because well when you are constantly overloaded uh, your sensory is constantly overloaded it gets very tiring imagine being uh, excited all the time or happy all i mean angry all the time it's not a very pleasant feeling it's good to feel once in a while but to have it constantly is just a bit um draining to say the least like your your energy is constantly like on the low side which is why i tend to not play anything too actiony because um uh it's one thing to watch and like watching just just watching is not much of a um stimulating type of thing but playing means putting yourself into that situation and actually navigating through um all that tense situations and um that leads to very very high arousal when your sensory is overloaded it just gets kind of uh you know tiring you don't really want to do tiring things a lot right uh, even if it's fun it's kind of too much fun <laughs> to say the least one really good research example is by a US psychologist called Gein in 1984 so he had two experimental groups introverts and extroverts and um basically he asked um one both groups to do a task while listening to a music so um the first the first a uh, round was having um uh extroverts do their tasks while listening to um really high level music like uh, you know pop music a uh, very noisy kind of music while introverts would do their task while listening to a more mellow kind of music let's say classical so he found that both groups do well in those situations but when you flip it where uh extroverts w- were given classical music while introverts were given pop music they do not as well as they did the first time there are other studies that look more into like how your brain works in uh, while doing this task uh, i mean there are links to the anterior s- cingulate gyrus uh, temporal lobes like all of it about the blood flows um there are a lot of things that uh, are being done to um see the biological factors going on in the introvert and extrovert trait. So that's the basis of Ising's arousal theory. It's very very uh my explanation is very simplified. So um I encourage you to like go and see more of it. I'm sure uh, there are other videos that l- talks about it very well. But tell me what do you think? Do you relate to this a lot? Are you an introvert? Do you um feel the same kind of things like social situations or um anything that extroverts enjoy um brings you this kind of arousal that you that kind of tires you out at the end of the day or are you an extrovert and you find that um this is true that you get kind of bored easily or are none of this relates to you at all if anything uh please tell me what do you think of this theory cuz i personally relate to it Of course with any theory in psychology it doesn't apply to everything like it doesn't really hold up uh when you put it in other cultures or um it, as time goes as time goes on you know so you know tell me what you think i am very interested to hear what you think so uh thank you guys so much for watching and i am not going to close any part of my face today because i think it's great even my weird ass to do <laughs> so um thank you guys so much for watching and look forward to stuff that's coming once i edit them because i am a lazy person <laughs> okay bye <laughs> yeah this is because i overdraw i think like i was drawing and then <laughs> I I almost stabbed my own eye.